Hi, I'm Dr. Dina Titches with NeuroWebVet. Today we're going to talk about how to do a neurological exam in a dog. We start the exam in the exam room with the owner, and while we're obtaining the history from the owner, we allow the dog to walk around freely. That way, we're able to notice if there's any circling, bumping into objects, or standing in corners. Then we go outside where we have a little bit more room and watch the gait and the posture of the animal. So here we are outside and we're noticing that his mentation seems very normal. He's curious, he's alert, um, his posture of, of the head looks normal. He doesn't look like he's turning in one direction, doesn't look like his head is tilted. Uh, when he stands, his posture looks a little bit uh, narrow based in the rear. It looks like he's putting weight, more weight on his left rear than his right rear. So we'll investigate that a little bit further once he starts moving and looking at his gait. So he looks like he has a very slight right hind limb limp, um, and it looks more orthopedic in nature. And we know this because it's a very predictable way that he's moving. I can predict where his right hind is going to fall. With neurological disease, the gait is very unpredictable. There's incoordination, and you never know where it's going to land. So when we lay him down to do his reflexes, we'll do a complete orthopedic exam and try to discover uh, the cause of that.